welcome back to Right Now News on this March 10th, 2023 for your top headlines. The Divas Live, an authorized biopic about the life of Jenny Rivera has been greenlit at VIX. This is not the first bio series about the diva itself as Mariposa del Barrio aired on Netflix and Telemundo and also an unauthorized version on TV Axul. And TikTok Premium, TikTok Wallet, some creators have premium content behind a paywall so now people could subscribe by paying money to view content. The content will still continue to follow the TikTok community guideline. And three injured after a rock slide caused a train derailment in West Virginia. And an airline chaos punches thrown, chaos erupt aboard a Southwest Airlines plane in Dallas. That's the story we start off with. I'm Anthony Martinez, and this is Right Now News. Passengers capture the moment of the frantic moment on the cell phones when one man unleashed a torrent of blows on another during a flight from Dallas. The latest incident of an unruly passenger behavior. Phoenix bound travelers were boarded on flight 117 at Love Field when a man in a tan blazer stood over and heavily tattooed a man and started striking him. Video footage shows moments earlier the man in the blazer had approached the tattooed gentleman, asked for his address, and he actually gave him the address, and then he started punching. A speech-language pathologist in Arizona who was just a few rows behind the chaos said that the two men was seated in a position he couldn't fight back or defend himself. The man who was beaten did not want to leave the plane but ground personnel insisted he exited to get treatment. The Southwest airline incident happened one day after a man aborted a United Airlines flight from Los Angeles to Boston, allegedly tried to open the plane's emergency exit, he then attacked a flight attendant. And three injured after a rock slide caused a train to derail in West Virginia. An empty cold train hit a rock slide along tracks in West Virginia on Wednesday morning causing a the Roman that injured three crew members, CX, CSX Transportation, said in a statement. The derailment occurred in a remote area just south of Sandstone inside New River National Park and Preserves. According to a statement from the West Virginia Emergency Management Division, several state agencies are monitoring the situation and say public water systems downstream have been notified and are monitoring any potential public health impacts. Although no hazardous materials were being transported and no, and there was no danger to the public, CSX said. The company said that employees and community safety was one of the top priorities as it says teams to assist, assess the situation and develop a recovery plan. And some TikTok user will be sending some big dollars so they could pay to watch their favorite content creators on TikTok. TikTok announced Tuesday it's rolling out a feature called Series, which allows some creators to put their premium content behind a paywall. The rollout described as a new way for creators to share their stories, talents, and creativity as premium content while further deepening their connection with their TikTok community. The tool is available to a few select creators in its early stages. Creators with access to series can add up to 80 videos in a collection, and those videos can be as long as 20 minutes apiece. The format will give creators access to longer form videos than what is now on TikTok. Although the series will appear behind a paywall, creators won't Creators will still have to follow the guidelines that are on TikTok's website. Early last year, creators of TikTok expressed fr frustration with the creator fund because it wasn't paying as much money as YouTube 
or some other apps do. Now this will be a bigger income for those TikToks who live off the social media world. Other social media platforms have tested the waters with paywall content as well as tools for creators to earn money. In January 2022, Instagram announced it was testing subscriber tools for stories, lives, and badges. Lastly, La Diva de la Banda, Jenny Rivera, getting an authorized biopic about her life has been greenlit at VIX. The filming of Jenny's biopic is underway in Colombia and will be completed in Los Angeles. The project is set to premiere exclusively via VIX and in select movie theaters in the United States and Mexico later this year. It will follow Rivera's journey from her humble beginnings in Long Beach, California to her rapid rise to the top of the charts and her final days before her tragic and unexpected death. The film will also share and the film will also share a look at the struggle she endures in her personal life and how she became the artist all fans knew. Jenny is a story Jenny is a story of resilience and bravery that showed the building blocks of what made Jenny Rivera also effectively known as La Diva de la Banda, who she was, who her fans know her, and what legacy she left behind. As a multiple award-winning artist, including Billboard Awards, 22 Latin Billboard Awards, 18 La Nuestra Awards, 4 Latin Grammy nomination, Rivera is not only known as one of the best-selling regional artists, by also making a change in the culture of music, crossing into banda, a mostly male-dominated music genre at its time, eventually going into pop music. In quote, Vix is thrilled to be the official home and distributor of the powerful story about Jenny Rivera. Our commitment to this project is paramount and along with the fantastic production team and directors. We know we will have a film that will captivate our audience. The senior vice president of content Vix at Televisa Univision said in a statement, and that's all the time we have for you today this week. I'm Anthony Martinez with Right Now News. Visit us on social media underscore Right Now News or our webpage at bit.ly slash news right now.